Well, guys, you know, we've gave it, given it one hell of a run. We really have. We set out about 60, 75 days ago with people that told us that we didn't stand a snowball's chance in hell of winning. And we've shown that this district is not just competitive, but that we can win it. Everybody is in this room, to all my staff, to all the volunteers who work tireless hours, thank you. You have inspired me time and time again on every day that I would come in and see how many of you were coming in and going out and, and canvassing and, and working and getting the message out about progressive values, about caring for people in this community, about this community being more than just one part of a community, but that all of us are actually one community. Yes. Everybody that's here should feel so good about what they've done. You know, it wasn't, well, I'm probably not supposed to say this, um, <laughs> but Mr. Estes did not beat us. No. It took the President of the United States, yeah! the Vice President, the Speaker of the House, a Senator coming into our state, and a bunch of lies. Yeah! To try to drum up a vote. 2018. So Mr. Estes may have won this battle, but he has not won the war. And I'm going to announce my candidacy for 2018.